James Lynch here in Calgary. I'm with Random Marcos, and uh, we're going to play some video games today, do something a little bit different. Rand and I have already uh, done an interview pre-fight, and I think this is the second time we've done an interview in person, but first time on video. So how are you doing, Randa? First off, thanks for doing this. I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Awesome. Uh, so we chose Adventure Island today for the Nintendo Entertainment System. What do you remember about this game growing up? Um, I remember it was just a chubby little kid who was trying to eat all the fruits on the island. Uh, it was pretty fun, so I'm excited to play it again. That's great. And uh, let, let's get right into it here, and then we'll also uh, talk about the fight a little bit. So Nina Ansaroff, um, you know, a very good opponent. Uh, you know, how, do you, I know you don't watch tape. I guess your coaches have. How do you sort of uh, assess her as an opponent? And are these controllers working, by the way? I think, I think A and B are here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. B, A, I think those are the ones that work. Anyways, but uh, yeah, just, uh, just thoughts on her as, as an opponent. And uh, you said you ran into her. I should mention that. How was that exchange? Um, yeah, I ran into her, just said hi. You know, uh, it was pretty cool seeing uh, Amanda... Uh, Nunez uh, with her and like just it's going to be cool having her uh, against me uh, during this fight but uh, I'm excited about it and I think she's going to be a similar opponent to uh, the last fight I had right. so uh, it would be a st stand up um, she'll be looking uh, for the striking so I just got to take it to my, my world take it to the ground and I think I'll, I'll do well for sure. And uh, you really look good in your last fight against Juliana Lima. Was there anything different that uh, you, you, you showcased in that fight that you felt? Or was there anything that you feel like you've improved on over the last couple fights? Um, in my last fight, actually, I wasn't able to, to do any of the things I wanted to do. Because of the injury. Yes, right. because of the injury. So I'm excited to actually um, show everybody what I have been working on. So, um, yeah, um, one good thing, though, having that injury made me, made me um, break it down and, and just be really basic and be able to be dominant everywhere in that fight. So uh, it was kind of like a blessing in disguise. And how are you feeling in this fight? Uh, you know, no, no, nothing you got to hide, every, everything good to go? Yeah, everything's good to go. I'm, I'm excited about it. And uh, um, I'm, I'm really excited to see how much I've improved since before the last fight because I wasn't able to show you guys okay. how much I've improved. So. That's good. Um, and, and training camp went well. Uh, for those who don't know, I mean, you, you customize your training camp working with different gyms. Uh, you like that, though. You like not being in an MMA gym, just sort of, you know, picking and choosing what you get to work at and, and getting a variety of training partners. Um, yeah, I, I feel a lot more comfortable this way, a lot more like I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. Um, I, I have my grappling coach who's uh, black belt, who's been working with me um, nonstop. I suck. Is, is, no, is, is this game tougher than you remember or whatever? Yeah. Um, I, no, I always sucked at this game. It, the, the worst part was not being able to start where I left off, but I didn't really get too far, as no. you can see. That's fine. Uh, did, uh, did your brother play this with you? Your brother's actually here this week, I should mention that. Uh, yeah, my brother's here. He, he played with, uh, we all did, all four of us used to take turns playing this, and uh, yeah, it was, it was always fun. This is... This was, it didn't look this bad when we were younger. <laughs> it's tough though. Kids don't know how good they have it now with these games. These, yeah. I mean, this is challenging. I, I'd be struggling too. So. Yeah, but um, it's cool to come back and, and play this rather than Nintendo Wii. Yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're playing the Wii uh, as far as uh, video games right now? Yeah, um, I just do it like whenever I'm, I'm, I'm bored. I'll just, uh, we got it set up in my sunroom, so it's nice to sit by the pool and just play video games. Um, I'm playing the blob right now. Uh, it's really, really boring, but it's fun for me. <laughs> That's great. And, um, you know, you said uh, healthy for this camp. Like, do you feel that we haven't seen the best of you yet just with the fact that you had the injury in the last fight? Yeah, I've definitely improved. I feel like I've improved a lot since the Carlo fight, I've, and uh, I still had a lot to, to work on, and I've improved a lot since the Alexa fight. And, you know, I'm just constantly looking to, to better myself every fight. So uh, hopefully you guys will see, will see that. And I feel like the fans have seen me, uh, the improvement in my last few fights. And I know that, uh, you know, you, you would have liked to be on the main card. You would have liked to have a bigger fight. I know you wanted Joanna. That was the fight you were aiming at. And Tisha has that fight. It's a little bit weird that you beat Tisha on, uh, you know, on the show, and now she's fighting Joanna. Yeah, I was actually, I wanted uh, Tisha. Oh, Tisha I right, wanted yeah. Tisha, and then, uh, yeah, that didn't work out. But uh, it makes sense to me for her to go and fight Joanna. I mean, that's a way better fight for her. Um, but, yeah, I, I think Joanna's going to win this fight. But it's a, it's a pretty good matchup because they're both pretty similar, so similar styles. But I'm excited to see that one. That's great. And, uh, you know, Nina is, is a tough uh, fighter to finish. Um, do you feel like you can get the finish in this fight, though? That's, uh, a lot of your fights go to decisions because you fight really tough opponents. But, but how do you see this fight sort of unfolding? Um, I feel like uh, I have a... If, if I can take the, the fight to where I want to take it, 
uh, which is on the ground, I think I have, I have a huge advantage. I'm obviously not going to take her lightly, but I think I have a huge advantage over her if we take it to the ground. That's great. And uh, you have a little bit of history with Calgary. I know you, uh, you were here, I think, when you were younger, you were mentioning to me. Uh, yes, I came here when, actually, I came here twice. Okay. Uh, I came here the first time uh, uh, for the Nationals and uh, for the Wrestling Nationals, and uh, it was awesome. But I lost my very first match, and I had to fight, or I had to wrestle seven more ma or six more matches in order to get the bronze, and I was able to do that. I, I won every match after that, and uh, it was really awesome. I was really, that was like the, one of the biggest highlights of my career, of my life. And um, then I came back as a senior, and I still trained with the high school, and s I wrestled with a bunch of uh, university people, and uh, I was able to come in, uh, I think I came in fourth, Okay. or something but you know you can see the huge difference between someone training in a high school and then training in at a university and uh yeah it was it was really cool experience but yeah always love coming over here well and uh, you love fighting in canada you've never lost why do you think that is just because of the crowd you, you like fighting close to home i mean not close to home calgary's a bit of a ways from windsor but just having the canadian fans i mean on our way here even uh, you had some people mobbing you yeah, um, it's really cool. I, I, I love fighting for in front of Canada, and um, the fans are awesome, uh, very supportive. Uh, you know, it, it feels really good. I had the I had the option to fight in in uh, Vegas actually, uh, the the Daniel Cormier card, and okay. I turned that down to fight here in Calgary. Okay. And uh, yeah, they gave me the option. So um, yeah, I love fighting in Canada. I love the support. I can feel like the energy from the from the crowd, especially when I fought in um, I think it was Halifax. Yeah. It was it was really really awesome just having everyone cheering for me. So oh, that's great. And I know you're not looking past Nina here, but uh, is is there someone you have an eye on after this, or just sort of take this fight, see where it goes? And and the other question is Toronto. They just announced it in December. I imagine you're looking at that if you come into this healthy. Oh, definitely. If there's a card in Toronto, I would love to fight in Toronto. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm not overlooking this girl. Um, but uh, after this fight, I. I've been calling people out, and it doesn't work for me. Right. So I don't care whoever they give me. I'm just going to go back to the drawing board and, and keep working hard and keep uh, improving my game. So uh, I feel like I, I've improved a lot already, and I still have so much to improve on. So I don't whatever happens in this fight, it's just going to be like another fight. got to go back and fix myself. I don't and, care who it is. And I was going to say December 8th is when that Toronto card is. I mean, do you think that is enough time between now and then if, if you wanted to fight to, to go back in there and get one more fight in this year? Oh, definitely. I would love to fight every two two months <laughs> if they'd let me I mean back when before the UFC I was fighting a lot and then coming into the UFC and you only fight once in a while it's, it's a huge difference I mean it's been a while but um, if I could go back to that and fight every couple months it would be awesome that's great um, that's a dream come true though that that is the pinnacle is you fighting in Toronto because of course you're from Ontario Yes, definitely. Okay, definitely. Cool. Would, would you be getting uh, a lot of people hitting you up for tickets? Because I'm sure a lot of people have wanted to see you fight, but it's not very close to home in a lot of situations. Yeah, probably, but um, I only get four tickets. And, yeah. <laughs> and you're not ticket master. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, if you guys want to come, buy your own tickets, but I would love the support. Excellent. Uh, Randa, this was great. I know you're still getting through this level here. Maybe we'll just wait till you, you get through this. But uh, how are you liking this game? I mean, you're doing pretty well. I mean, these, these games, people, kids don't know these days. These games are really tough. They are, but I really suck at it, and I can't do two things at once right now. <laughs> no, you're doing great, though. You got the monster suit a little bit ago. Uh, you know, did you own this game, or was this a situation where you rented it? No, I, we owned this game. It was, like, uh, one of our first games. We used to have to, like, blow on it and then stick it back in there. It didn't work. Or, like, you're in the middle, you're getting pretty far, and then it froze. Oh, you had yeah. to take it out and blow on it and, like, redo it. But uh, this is pretty cool how you have this system there. Yeah. It's a nice setup, although the controllers would be better if it was the old yeah, school ones, because yeah. the Xbox controller is a little bit uh, too hard to coordinate. Well, uh, Randa, we'll, we'll leave it there. I know you got a nap to get to. Uh, thank you so much for the time. Uh, just if you got any anyone you want to thank, any, any social media you want to plug, the floor is yours. Um, yeah, I just want to thank um, uh, Receptra for sure. Uh, they uh, sponsored me and uh, helped, uh, helped me out with this fight. Um, Quick Tutor uh, sponsor as well, and uh, Garage Gym, uh, Empire Boxing, Windsor Wrestling Club, all the, the positive people around me that support me, and uh, all my fans. 